Hello, this is the second part to the abstract design patterns. I decided to do a, another video because uh, apparently a lot of you liked it, so I'm going to do another one. And this is a bit different. If you've seen the last one, which if you are seeing this video and you haven't, I would recommend. Uh, this is a more, uh, I guess, curvy approach, I guess you could say to to the way we create the pieces that we will be doing which will be the patterns okay so i want to create a plane just like in the last video now i want you to rotate it 90 degrees well you don't have to but you could just move the camera i guess and i want you to insert the face a face and we could subdivide this if you wanted to although i wouldn't recommend it like in the last one what i want to be using instead is going to be the knife tool and i want to be thinking of how i want my lines to look my this will be more curvy afterward afterwards um so i want to be thinking of of what that of what I of how I want it to look like okay if that makes sense so you don't have to do the exact same thing I'm doing you can do your own thing that's fine uh, this is what I want you to get out of this video is just that this is a cool way to create pieces for like like whatever you want like for like maybe architectural visualization or something like that so once we have the pieces selected I'm going to select everything and deselect these um, edges and I want you to go to the vertex mode and press Control Shift B to bevel. And we want to try to get it as curvy as possible. And as you can see, it looks pretty nice. And what I'm going to do now is I want you to deselect. I want you to select the lines I want to deselect these verti verti vertices the ones that are here like in the center because the only thing we want really is the line if that makes any sense so we have to be patient with this and actually well you could select that this edge if you wanted to it's not below it's fine if you have it selected we'll see why in a second okay so this is even though this is a bit tedious it will give us some pretty nice results so once we okay oh okay so once we have all this selected i'm going to do control b to bevel and you can do extrude and now what I'm going to do, okay, I know this looks pretty ugly right now, but what I'm going to do is create a cube, scale it down, scale it down on the Y, and I want you to do a boolean. I'm using all hard ups like in the last video, but you can ju just do like a difference. And as you can see, we have our pieces so 
And you can, of, of course, like maybe, maybe you would want to like delete these um, little pieces just to see what it looks like. And as you can see, this is a much uh, more a, a very a, a bit bit of a different approach to how we create those pieces. So I hope you enjoyed this video and you got something out of it. If you did, please like and comment down below. And if there's like anything you want to see, like like you want to learn something, just let me know, and I'll try to make a video just for you. So thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.